everybody, Jeff, Happy Texas Homestead. Today, uh, we've got some projects going on, but the very first thing we've got going on is the baby chicks are going outside because we've got quail in the incubator and we just don't have the room inside for everybody. So there's the first set of quail that we've incubated. They're about two weeks old. Yes, going on two. And then we've got more <laughs> in the incubator. We've got more in the incubator here, so trying to stock up on meat. It's all about the meat. And then these yahoos <laughs> are going out to the coop. So here they're making their voyage. This is wild outdoors. <laughs> And we've got them set up because they're not completely ready for <laughs> on their own yet. Unprotected. Completely. Unprotected. We've got the playpen set up for them. So they'll be all right for a couple more weeks in this. Bring the water out. Oh yeah. Hi babies. Look at those pretty wings. <laughs> oh. Alright. Lapping. There. Yeah, I'll put them in there. Look. Isn't she pretty? That's an Easter egg. -er. She's a pretty girl. Still okay. got little fuzzies left. Go. Nah, she's... Ow! She gone. <laughs> she came her that way. Come here, baby. Oh, well. I'll get her. They don't go far from each other. We had them in the house without a lid. And they would stay right there by the tote. Until they get up the courage to fly back in. Oh. I know, I know. There you go. That there for now. Don't forget the escapee. Nope, I'm getting her. Underneath, I knew it was coming. Yeah. Let's see what I mean. She knows these are her. Her family. Her family. And she wants in there. Well, there we go. Project one complete. Move the chickens out of the house. And into their new a stress permanent right new semi-permanent home for a while. Hey everybody, Jeff, Happy Texas Homestead. Uh, today's video we're going to do something different and something new. So stay tuned. I'll give you a little preview of what's going on and we'll go from there.
so some of you some of you may be able to guess what I'm gonna be doing for others maybe not but stay tuned you'll see here in a little while okay so I've checked already to make sure I have all my materials which I pretty confident I do so let's begin all that over here Okay, so it should go like that. Okay. Okay, I think I got all the screws. And there's a couple of them. Yeah, they're for this other okay. part. Okay. So I can see from the okay. screwdriver. Can you take this, put it on the chair over there for me? to be on camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing some stuff. You know what I'm saying? No, you're missing all right.
bring me a knife? I think I need glue also. You want the deeps or the others? I want the deeps. Hold on to those. Rolling in the deep. Easy is a ding dong. <laughs> Here, I'll just put it right here. You put it wherever you want. Right like that? Right like that. And then you're taking the... Oh, great. great. Came unglued. <laughs> <laughs> Your thing may not be in there all the way, baby. It's in there all the way. Okay. Then you take a nail. And you carefully mm -hmm. nail it in. Would you like me to hold? Straight. Can you flip it over to your ball pink side. So I can paint it. Yeah. I like rack and pinion. You don't even know what rack and pinion is. <laughs> I know. Something to do with the car. Okay. And the other side is glued. Yeah. It's already coming out. Well. How much glue did you put on there? Uh, a dab will do you. Mm. I don't like it, see? Well, maybe I should nail that too. Mm. I guess the top is nailed also. You just put glue in it also. Yeah. Well, because there's a lot of a lot of prying that goes on right there. Not crying, prying. Crying! Crying! Dump them out. I'm gonna need a bunch. Mm -hmm. I say we should have just used our. Galvanized. They Okay. Beautiful. Alright, you can stop the recording here. Yeah. I got a lot of them to do, so. You can just record and we can fast forward. Uh, so I gotta do the editing, so no thanks. Yep. You tell them, Daisy. You have to tell them, Mama. You tell them, Daisy. Let me see if I can get her. Where, Daisy, where'd you go? Daisy! Hi, baby! What are you doing? <laughs> I know, you can't get in. Mama blocked you. <laughs> and so there's the bottom board and the 10 frame deep box with the frames. Everything's assembled. The frames are in there now. As you can see. Ready to go. Then the next thing that goes on, 
when we get ready is this thing here that's the queen excluder then this is the honey super the inner cover and the lid so there you go there it is from maybe oh I forgot the reducer thing entrance reducer so next early spring we'll get our bees and uh, hopefully we'll get some honey so I bought this complete kit from Amazon um, it came from a company called maybe m-a-y-b-e-e -E, and It came with a bottom board, which is what I showed you. The entrance reducer, which is up there to reduce the bees that are coming in. An inner cover that was uh, up here on the top. The top cover. The excluder, the queen excluder that doesn't allow the queen to get up when you're trying to get honey. I got 10 deep frames here and 10 medium frames here plus the boxes so all of that for $149 and um, we're looking forward to getting bees that's the next big venture here on the happy Texas homestead so Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you would, hit the subscribe button. That really helps us out a lot. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment, and ring that notification bell. That'll let you know when new videos are coming out. Thank y'all. Have a great day.